season of Gold Battle League has started and we have all been brought down to rank 1 again. So today I'm going to have some fun with some regional Pokemon as I've decided that I'm going to make this a really fun video. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys. So you guys can see, yep, we are in rank 1. No wins, no nothing. Uh, Stardust earned 600. How come? How did that happen? Oh, I think I claimed it from the previous... Um, yeah, base the reward, right? Is that how it works? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's so interesting. Anyway, um, let's go ahead to see the Pokemon that I have prepared that I can use. Alright, so these are all the original Pokemon that I have prepared. There are still some that I do not have, like Clef Key, um, like uh, certain ones that I did not prepare. I mean, I have the Clef Key, but I do not have the one that's good for PvP IVs wise. Alright, uh, unfortunately, there's two Pokemon over here that I wouldn't use them at all, like uh, the Galarian um, Farfetch. I'm not too sure if it's considered a regional Pokemon uh, because everyone can technically get it. And another one is a Shellos because I've prepared two. Alright, this one is really power up. I come to think of it, I did not uh, max this one up yet. Uh, let's just max it out now. Alright, great, now it's maxed out. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna change the, the thing. I really thought I maxed it out already. Alright, gonna change the, the tag. Great! So the. It's still not maxed out, Brandon. Okay, one more power up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. So the thing is, the moves are all um, the ones that I've already um, checked on PV Poke, and PV Poke recommends all the moves: Mud Slap, Body Slam, uh, Mud Bomb. Every single one of them have the PV Poke uh, moves, including um, Farfetch that's power up to level 50. This the one that's a Hundo, all right, and it has Fury Cutter, Aerial Ace, and Leaf Blade. Yeah, it was caught in Singapore during the event, and quite a number of them also. All of them have the um, PVP moves, alright, so including Buffalon which I just recently got uh, in Philadelphia, um, great PVP IVs, the Oricorio, so this was also from Baltimore, and uh, that's the move that it has recommended by PVP, it only has flying type um, charge moves, so uh, Air Cutter isn't a good one, and uh, the other fast move that it has is Pound, which isn't great at all, so um, that's that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead to go Battle League right now. And like I said, it's going to be a fun one, but it could be a crazy one also. So first of all, let's go ahead to uh, use my search string. I'm going to sort by, actually, actually no, I just sort by uh, number, it's fine. Alright, I think I'm going to go with at least one from each generation. Alright, so um, we're going to start off with, I guess, uh, let's say, uh, Mr. Mime. Uh, paired up with, let's say, Toco. That's generation 2, right? And another generation one uh, over here. Let's go with uh, uh, Buffalon. Right, does that make sense? Alright, we'll try this. Alright, let's go. Okay, I'm really not sure how this is going to go, but... <laughs> uh, seriously, it's my first time using all regional Pokemon. Only regional Pokemon in the Go Battle. It got matched up against our first opponent, Kokoro. Okay, let's see what she has for us. Uh, Nine Tails is a shiny... Alola Nine Tails though, okay, okay, um, okay, it is, it looks pretty good for her, I suppose so, but we'll see what we can do, Mr. Mime is suffering a lot of damage because it's very, very glassy, okay, we can go with either Shadow Ball or Psychic, both of them will do, um, still a crazy amount of damage, I mean, uh, Psychic has same type attack bonus, but Shadow Ball hits really, really hard, so just go with either, doesn't really matter, okay, she's gonna shoot up anyways, right, okay, trying to farm us down with the charm, which she did, um, thinking if I like to go with the Torko, um, or the actually no Torko, Torko is good, right? Torko resists the moves. Torko resists charm, and I mean I'm doing super effective damage or so. Okay, bringing a Crobat, I'm gonna go with uh, overheat one time, and then after it switch into he's running running bite on the Crobat though. Okay, I'm gonna go with this overheat switch into my Buffalon. All right, switch into Buffalon now. Okay, great, great. So now that we know that she has a, she has a, she has a nine tails at the back, our, our Toko actually fares pretty well against, yeah, I'm so sorry man, I'm trying to think while I'm talking, while I'm doing this at the same time, like multi, multi, multi tasking. Okay, this will be enough to knock out the Crobat if we actually um, do not get hit by this. Okay, I think I'm going to let this go through. So Shadow Ball, we double resist that, right? Okay, great, great. I mean, Buffalon, uh, being a normal typing Pokemon, the double resist goes, great. Alright, this will knock out the Crobat. 
and then uh, we'll see what's the next Pokemon that comes in. Could possibly be the Charm user again. Okay, it is the Charm user. Hopefully, oh no, it's not the Charm user, man. Oh my god, I was thinking to get to the to the Mega Horn, but I don't think I can reach it in time. But okay, we have a Pokemon that is weak to fire also. Our Torkoal is really going to go to work right now. Okay, we're going to farm down the Jinx totally. Um, I think we can survive. Yeah, we can survive the, 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 the Confusions. I mean, we can see that Torkoal is super duper tanky. Right? Alright. So that's good. Okay, side shot comes in. I'm going to shoot up the next uh, move that comes in, even from the Nine Tails or so, of course. Okay, and uh, we can overheat the Nine Tails totally, right? Uh, actually, you know what? I don't even know whether you can reach the, the Nine, the, 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 the overheat. Because the Fire Spin might be enough to knock it out. Right? Oh my god, Torko is so good, man. So Torko is a regional Pokemon that is uh, catchable in places like Malaysia and uh, Thailand. So I've been there a couple of times. In fact, I did hatch myself a Hando Torko so when I was in Kuala Lumpur with Isaac. And uh, I've already, I think I've already powered up to level 50, I think. Um, or maybe I, yeah, yeah, maybe I have not yet. I'm not sure. I need to work on that. Or maybe I did. I really can't remember, man. But uh, we will see how um, in the future uh, when I make a video to actually power up some Pokemon again. All right, we're going to switch our team up a bit. We're going to bring in uh, Heracross this time. Um, we're also going to bring Tropius. Should we bring Tropius? Now we have two Pokemon that are weak to fire. That isn't too good. Alright, you know what? I'm going to uh, replace that instead. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's bring in... Let's bring in Relican. Okay, looks pretty promising. Relican and maybe... Maybe Tauros. Yeah, okay. Though we have two Pokemon that's weak to fighting also. Okay, wait. Uh, let me just think about it a bit. Um, okay, we're gonna bring Farfetch instead. I think this looks a bit more promising, although we have two Pokemon that is weak to what? Nothing, I don't know. Alright, so let's go ahead to see. Um, Brandon is weak to everything. Okay, so um, let's see uh, who we get matched up with. John Stamos, his, and he's ranked 2 already, so he has really played uh, 1 stage and it's like he's running Gigalith. Not the actual meta meta pokemon i'm also not using meta pokemon so it's kind of fair right in this situation all right we are resisting the moves that's great okay we're just gonna go with counters all the way hopefully we can counter down the gigalith before a charge move comes in Ugh. that's so sad to see okay what move does it have um i can't remember man um should i shoot this i think i should i can't remember the move okay it's rock slide that will do neutral damage to us our heracross is actually pretty good and remember heracross actually has rock blast not many people do know that it actually has a new move rock blast so you might want to shoot this all right i'm gonna shoot this okay he shooted that okay 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 fine he knew he, he knew that was coming all right i will have to switch my pokemon out after this but i'm thinking who should i switch into man all right i might switch into farfetch Okay, we're gonna switch into Farfetch. I can't remember what moves my uh, Relicant has though. Does it have a rock type move? I think it has, man. Okay, let's go with the Aerial, not Aerial A, but the Leaf Blade though. I seriously think it has a rock move, right? I cannot remember the moves of my Relicant. Good job, Brandon. You did not memorize the move of the Relicant among all the Pokemon to um, forget. Okay, I think I'm gonna let this go through. It could be a Weather Ball, it could also be a ha Hurricane. Okay, great. It's just a Weather Ball, but it's still gonna hurt like crazy. Uh, I am going to double shoot this. Alright, the Gigalith is practically dead. Alright, it's practically dead. In fact, my other two Pokemon can handle the Gigalith without any issues. So that's totally fine. Even if he brings in the Gigalith against my Farfetch, Farfetch um, double resist the Mud Slaps. So we are fine. Alright, okay, he's going to bring in the... Oh, he's bringing a Dragon-type Pokemon though. It's a Dragonite. Okay, that is not good for us. I'm trying to... Hmm... Okay, let's see though. Okay, what what am I doing? I thought I thought my rock blast is ready. That's why I actually use that, but apparently not. Oh yeah, we have ancient power, guys. We have ancient power. I totally forgot we have ancient power. Uh, okay, this does not look good at all. This does not look good at all. Dragon claw might be enough to knock us out, right? Okay, yep, yep, yep. Does not look promising at all. Does not look promising. Does not look good. This fish is gonna be taken out uh, of uh, existence. Boom. And we lost it. That's why relicants are extinct, guys. Yep. They do not fare well at all. And they double uh, they, do they are double weak to grass. Well, anyway, let's go ahead to the next uh, team that we're gonna use again. Um, this time around, I'm gonna use Tauros. Alright. I'm gonna pair it up with uh, Minim. Minim is actually pretty good, I must say. Alright, and I think I'm gonna use Tropius also. 
okay? So I have a lot of selections, man. I have a total of 22 Pokemon to select. Of course, I did say that. I showed that I have 24, but minus 2 because of the Farfetch and also the uh, Shellos, the double Shellos. So that's 22 also. It could be 21 if I don't wish to use the Plusle. All right, so Tauros against uh, Granboo, though. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, this Granboo is at 1,392 CP. That's a little bit good for us. And by the way, it has a new move, Trail Blaze also. Alright, for the Tauros, which is pretty interesting. It's a grass typing move. It's a new move that was re just recently added into the game. But we're going to go with Horn Attack because that same type attack bonus. Alright, and the opponent decided to shield that. Can I actually get to another Horn Attack? Oh my god, the Horn Attack is so good, man. Alright, go Tauros, Horn Attack. Boom! Uh, okay, well, she shielded that. Alright, so we are... We are up two shields. She's down two shields. I'm thinking how I should play this. Should I just farm down with Plusle or... Okay, you know what? I'm going to farm down with Tropius. Um, Tropius is really tanky, so I have to shield this, right? There's nothing from um, the Grand Boot that does super effective damage to us. Okay, okay. We're going to farm down with just uh, Air Slashes alone. One more Air Slash. Great. So our Leaf Blade is ready. Let's see what's the next Pokemon that comes in. And that is going to be... Okay, we're going to go with Aerial Ace. Since it is a Blaziken. Alright. I don't foresee she would have a Stone Edge Blaziken. But still, the Fire Typing... Uh, fire type moves are gonna hurt a lot. Okay, well that's gonna hurt a lot too. Okay, good, 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 good. Bye, Blaziken. Okay, what's the next Pokemon now? Okay, it is a Leafeon. Leafeon. Okay, maybe I'm gonna use the Minim for the next battle against because uh, I think the Minim is not gonna do anything at all since we are doing so well with the Tropius really. To me, actually Tropius is one of the best uh, regional Pokemon to obtain to use for Go Battle League because it's just so good. It's so tanky and the typing is just really good also. Um, other than the fact that it's double weak to ice, okay. Unfortunately, it spawns uh, in in the Middle Eastern part of the world, um, including uh, some parts of Africa. Um, of course, there were events that came along, uh, especially in Singapore back in November 2019, where Tropius was spawning at the Safari Zone, which was pretty cool. All right, so I think I'm gonna stick with the Minim. All right, and um, right now I'm gonna bring in Zangus. Okay, and then uh, if I think I'm thinking about it to bring in Troll or Carnivine. I think I'm going to try the Carnivine. It's my first time using Carnivine in the Go Battle League also. Zangos I've used before, Minim I've used before, so Carnivine is brand new and it has Vine Whip, uh, Energy Ball, is it Energy Ball or Power Whip? I, can't, power, I think it's Power Whip and Crunch. I think I, I, I prepared that. Okay, we've got Ash Greninja, no, not Ash Greninja, it's Greninja, Brandon. It's not Ash Greninja, it's just Greninja in the house. Okay. Great that, do we, we, that we are doing super effective damage with that. Um, okay, very interesting. So quick to get to the move, man. Is it already Hydro Cannon? Wow, it is. I'm actually quite surprised. Okay, we have an issue, guys. We have an issue. Okay, we have an issue, guys. Wow, I really didn't expect Water Shuriken to be that quick in terms of charging up. Okay. The uh, Hydro Cannon. My Zangus is dead. That isn't good. I lost all the energy. We're gonna farm down the. Um, we're gonna farm down the uh, Greninja. Hopefully we can. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch this. Okay, great. Now he can Hydro Cannon me. I'm gonna let this go through. We have a lot of energy on our Minim. Hopefully that's the one that uh, helps us to score a win. Oh my God! Seriously, our Zangus lit literally got taken out like mad. All right, what's the next Pokemon? Not good, guys. It's a Charizard. Okay, it's a Charizard that's running Dragon Breath. We're gonna go with Crunch. Seriously, guys, this is not good at all, man. Alright, let's go with the crunch. Let's see what we can do. Of course, uh, he is not going to shoot, right? Is he going to shoot? Okay, he decided to shoot that. Hmm, very interesting then. Very interesting then. Okay, great. Use your charge move. Great. Um, which side was the um, um, discharge? I think it's on the left. I think. It should be on the left. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, no, it's on the right. Okay, okay. I, I Luckily, I double-checked first before I actually tap the charge move. I literally cannot remember whether it's on the left or on the right. My uh, minimum is on the right, the discharge, but the plus is on the left. So that's something really interesting that I uh, did. Yep, which is not good. Alright, let's just hope the last Pokemon is either weak to electric or grass. Okay, we have grass-type move. Great, knocked, it, knocked out the Charizard. And it is a Blastoise. Okay, okay. Okay, it's rather promising for us. In fact, all three of his Pokemon are weak to electric. Now the question is, can we actually survive to get to another discharge? Because if we can, it'll be good. If we can't, then we lose. 
Okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe we do not need the discharge. We can just uh, fast move down the blast toys really. Oh my god. This is gonna be ultra close, but I believe in you, Minim. I believe in you. Come on, come on, show the blast toys what you got. Oh my god, we want that. After getting Hydro Cannon by that Ash Greninja, my win chances of winning dropped to 0.1%. At the very end, it went up to like 0.2%. And we won that. That was pretty insane. Okay, so um, <laughs> let me breathe a sigh of relief first. Alright, let's go ahead to choose our next uh, team. Then I'm going to use a uh, troll together with either Oricorio or uh, the Chatot. Okay, um, we're going to use Shellos. I, although seriously, it's not even close to 1,300 CP, but we will try, okay? This is probably the weakest team I've prepared so far. I believe so. Yep, the Oricori only has flying type moves. The troll has low kick, body slam, and focus blast, which is pretty decent. And troll is rather tanky also. I mean, of course, when you're matched up against a weekly tough, that is not good for us. Okay, the weekly tough is running pound though, so that's actually pretty good for us. Okay, and it's a thousand one hundred and ninety CP. Um, okay, it's run now. He's using that. I'm gonna use this though. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I think I think I'm good, right? Uh, of course, I don't want to get hit by a charge move. I uh, should I shoot this? Yes, I should. It could be an ice sponge. Yeah. It. Oh, it's returned. Oh my god, that would have hurt a lot. Oh my god, that would have probably knocked us out, man. Okay, okay, that was a very good shield, man. I must say. Okay, that was interesting. First time I'm seeing someone using a Hitmon, a Hitmon Chan with Return. Alright, now he's using a Zangus, which I was using it just now. And it's running Fury Cutter, which then my Oricori is resisting the move. Alright, we're gonna go with that. We are then gonna go with a Hurricane right after this. Okay, not. Okay, oh my god, I just realized the... the, the <laughs> The Oricorio is so cute, it's like doing some pom-pom dancing over there. So cute. But you need to do some damage, alright? Here we go. Oricorio. This is my first time using this uh, Oricorio though. The Oricorios all have different typings. So uh, the other ones, I did not prepare them at all. Okay, now the Weekly Duff is back again. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna bring in the... I'm gonna bring in the Shellos just to have a little bit of fun. I mean, it's gonna use Mud Slap. It's not gonna do a lot of damage. I'm gonna let this go through. Knowing that it has pound, we don't have to worry about our troll being taken out by charms. Or even Okay, we have to worry about that though. Uh or even uh the what's that move? What's that move? What's that move? Fairy bean. Yep, fairy bean. Okay, now we're gonna go with body slam. Let's see if the opponent is gonna shoot this or not. Oh my god, seriously, a level 50 share loss in the Great League. Who uses this man? Um, someone as dumb as me. Yep, so let's go to see if the mud slaps are enough. Actually, the mud slaps might be enough if I were to actually shoot this to knock out the wiggly tough already. Um, yep, definitely enough. Can we actually survive this? Uh, that No, we can't survive this disarming voice though. Yep, definitely not. Okay, we're just gonna go with fast moves alone, fast moves alone, fast moves alone. New doing neutral damage, neutral damage. We can focus blast though if we wish to, but no, it's enough. Alright, it's enough. Do not overkill, do not waste another 9 seconds, Brandon. Great. Alright, so let's go into the next battle right now. I think it's going to be the last one. No, actually no, it's the last one. That's the final one. Oh my god, we won 4 out of 5. That was pretty insane, but it was pretty fun too. That's the kind of thing that I will try doing it only. Wow! Did we just get a bishop as our reward? That's cool. Is that a guaranteed one? I'm not sure. But anyway, that's something that I wouldn't do when I'm higher up in the rankings. Especially using only regional Pokemon is something that I would not recommend doing. Of course, you can pair it up with other Pokemon, etc. But uh, I think that is all that I have to show to you guys in this video. We hit rank 2. Great, awesome. Congratulations, Brandon. You will still hit rank 2 even if you lost all your battles. Congratulations anyways. Alright, so I think that is all that I have to show to you guys in terms of how the regional Pokemons perform in the Great League. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. Be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, who wants to say goodbye, man? Who wants to say goodbye? So many of you guys, seriously. Okay, I'm not going to say goodbye by myself. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!